everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have a new episode of Clone Wars for you. This is a series that Amanda and I do together where we shop our stash to dupe palettes that are popular, their new coming out, new releases, or maybe just palettes that have been out for a while that we're a little tempted by. And we do a lot of palettes on request. This is something that Amanda and I both really, really liked. And I don't believe it's been released yet, but um, yeah, if you saw my wish list tag video, you will know exactly what this palette is. Yes, it is the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. But um, yeah, I duped it, so I don't need it. And um, mine's not going to smell like gingerbread spice, though, you know, but I still have the colors. I am duping this from my own collection. I can tell you that, of course, it's not going to be exact because there are different products and my dupes are not going to be the same as Amanda's because we have completely different collections. But I do feel pretty confident that I can get a very similar look from the shadows that I have that I would get as if I had this palette in my collection. And it is so pretty. Did I say it was pretty? Yeah, I like this palette a lot. Let's get started. I, of course, will always start at the top left, go right, and then work down the rows from there. So the first one is powdered sugar. And for that, I have chosen Coastal Scents, shocker of all shocker. I do have all Coastal Scents shadows, so I will try to remember to not keep saying that, but they are not all hot pots. So, all right, starting with powdered sugar, I have chamois or chamois nude. Let me get you the first of the awkward left-handed swatches. And if you hear that, it's my crazy sons. They're out uh, watching some Scooby-Doo right now. There is the first one. Okay, moving on to spiked eggnog, I have chosen flesh tone. It's a very similar color, only this one is a lot more shimmery. And let me show you what that looks like. Very pretty. Moving on to the bright pink in the palette. That is Gumdrop, and I have gone into my Coastal Scents 88 palette, and I have chosen G7. I don't know if you remember from other Coastal Scents or Coastal Scents Clone Wars. I did numbers and letters so I could easily find things, and that is this shade right here. That is G7. I think it was a Freudian slip when I said Coastal Scents because I frequently use Coastal Scents. All right, let's get that pink swatched for you. There it is. A little powdery, but very pink. Okay, moving on, the next one is Gingerbread, and I have chosen the shade Paprika. And that is Paprika. This one is so soft. The mattes don't seem to swatch quite as well as the shimmers and the metallics, but they are still really nice. The next one is Warm and Toasty, and I have chosen Miss Marigold. Let me give you that swatch. This is a pretty, pretty color. Absolutely love this color. But most of their metallics, their metallic shimmers, I just, I love them. They're so pretty. Oh, burn. That is the next one and the last one on the top row. I have chosen Panama Rose. And that is Panama Rose. Very pretty colors. I Can you see why this palette is, is like near and dear to my heart. <laughs> Going on to the second row, it is Frostbite Me, and that I have chosen the Hot Pot in HPME07, which is white silver. For those of you that have had this Hot Pot for a long time, HPME07. That is Frostbite Me, my dupe. Going on to Looky at My Cookie. Mm -hmm. That sounds kind of crazy. I have chosen Peach Puff and the only hot pot in here that has pan on it. All right, let's looky at my cookie with Peach Puff. 
my fingers a little wet and I was right in the pan so I didn't get as much on my finger as I would have liked. There is peach puff for looky at my cookie. And on to spice is nice. That is a bright orange. Very bright. And I have chosen volcanic blast. Let's get a nice swatch of that. This one I think is one that actually stains because it is so bright. There it is. Oh snap is the next one. And I have chosen, what did I choose? It's right here on the counter, peachy pink. Let it adjust there, focus in. Let me give you that swatch. My dupe for Oh Snap. Moving on is, what is that? Bake it till you make it. These are cute names, aren't they? I have chosen Victorian Ruby. This is another really pretty one. And the last one on that row is Spice of Life. And I have chosen Light Bronze. Let me get you that swatch. I can see these swatches are gonna go right down to my elbow again. There you go, there is that one. And moving on to the third row, the first one is Sugar Daddy. And I have chosen Pale Nude. Should I, should I go down this arm? Should I just keep going? Should I get crazy and just go straight down the arm? Y'all like swatches on my elbow, don't you? Okay, the next one is Figgy Pudding. I have chosen Violetta. Such a pretty purple. It's like a pinky kind of purple. And of course my finger was wet. There you go, that's Violetta for figgy pudding. All right, I had to really delve in deep to get this next one for Hot Toddy. This is a Coastal Scents mica pigment that they don't make anymore. And this is Paradise Rose Sky. I'm gonna open it up and hopefully not spill it everywhere. Looks like that. And let me get you a swatch of it. And that is Paradise Rose Sky. That is a very, very pigmented mica. All right, we've got three more to go. Rain, reindeer Paws. I have chosen Wild Raisin. And let me get a swatch of that one. Getting low here, getting low. That is my dupe for Reindeer Paws with Wild Raisin. Next to last is Gingerbread Latte. And I have chosen Petal Peach. Let's get that swatch right here. Getting close to that elbow. Getting real close to that elbow. Petal Peach. And the last one, the very last one is Spiced Rum and I have chosen Rich Walnut. Let's get that swatch on my elbow. <laughs> that is my dupe right there for Spiced Rum, Rich Walnut by Coastal Scents. So there it is, there is my dupe for the Gingerbread Spice Palette by Too Faced. I really love these colors. I really love them so much. And if I didn't have all of these colors in my collection already, I would certainly want to put this on my Christmas list because I am sure that it would be purchased for me for Christmas if I said that I wanted it. And I really don't want to put it on my list now after duping it because I have these colors. I don't need them again. I have too much eyeshadow and, and that's why we do this Clone Wars thing because we talk ourselves out of buying palettes and I am so thankful that we did this Clone Wars because I think I have been talked out of putting this on my Christmas wish list. Yep, it's not gonna smell like gingerbread but maybe I'll 
I'll do a gingerbread candle or something when I'm getting ready. I really hope you go check out Amanda's channel because she dupes from completely different makeup and you know she does a really good job so you should go check her out. She's going to be linked down below so go show her some love. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and until I see you in my next video have a beautiful day.